You are tuned to Far Out on donor-supported CKUA. I'm Amy Van Keeken, and I am so very excited and pleased to say that we have a very special guest joining us now, the one and only Baby J, joining us here on Far Out. Hello, Baby J. Hello, Jeremy. Is it okay if I call you by your real name? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, call me Jeremy. Yeah. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Oh, it's going great. We are so stoked for Sled Island, and uh, we're really excited to hear your view about the upcoming festival. I know that you are going to be playing on June 23rd at the Palomino downstairs with a host of other incredible artists. But I have a couple questions uh, to ask you before we get to that. First of all, have you played Sled Island before? No, not really. (laughs) I mean... um... We got into the, I think it was the 2020 festival that was canceled. So that was right at the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, they said, hey, you you got into Sled Island. We were excited to play. But then the whole thing ended up like couldn't happen in person. But they did do a lot of stuff online that year. So we were part of the Sled Island 2020 lineup and whatever they called it, I forget, like Sled Island from Home 2020. So I think technically the website says that this is our second festival, but it's it's totally the first time in terms of us, you know, going down to Calgary and and being part of the real thing. Because you're an Edmonton based band, correct? Edmonton based band. Yeah. Um, For now, there was a time when Dean and I were both living in New York. And then we were a New York based band for a, a little while, a year or so. <laughs> so basically, Baby J is a band. Wherever they go, there they are. Yeah. That's where they're you based. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, how are you feeling about playing the festival this year? Oh, we're really excited. Um, mainly because we have all new material. Um, put out the album Someday Cowboy in 2018. And that's such a long time ago. And uh, recorded a new album kind of during the pandemic and uh as you know things have uh opened up a bit and we're able to play shows again um we're really stoked to get the chance to play those new songs live i cannot wait to hear your new stuff because i adore someday cowboy and uh so yeah the instant it's released please let us know here at far out who will be playing in your band you keep saying we, and I know sometimes you play solo, yeah, sometimes it's, it's you and Dean. Well, lately when I play solo, I'm playing just under the name, my own name, Jeremy Witten. Okay. And Baby J shows are typically a four-piece. Me, Dean Krufi on bass, Cam O'Neill on the drums, and we have Phil Holtby on guitar, who played in Cat Gut and Dot. Oh, yeah. I love that band. Um, and uh, if you're if you're just tuning in, uh, Dean Karufi is the same Aladdin Karufi who played CKUA uh, a few weeks ago, live uh, from outside of the studio. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, many listeners might remember that. And you can actually, I believe, still catch that online at CKUA.com. Okay, so that's a killer lineup. Great band. Um, who else are you excited to see or hear at the festival? Are you going to hang around and, and check some shows out? Yeah, I'm coming down. I think I don't think we're all coming down on, on the same day, but I think Cam and I are coming down on the Thursday because we want to see the Sun Ra Orchestra. Oh, my gosh. Um, right? So yeah, jealous. <laughs> even though Sun Ra, um, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. But that band is still super cool and I think still you know, is very inspired by Sun Ra, obviously. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that you've got a new album. Uh, Is it, is it done? Is it completely finished? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's totally done. Mixed, mastered. It's been done for a long time and we were just uh, waiting to, um, for the right moment to put it out. Wonderful. It's called Crop Circles and it's kind of an autumn themed album. Cool. Um, yeah, we we shot a music video in the Edmonton Corn Maze. There's just, yeah, kind of like a spooky Halloween kind of theme running through it. So we're going to release it in October of this year. Yeah, we're playing the Aviary um, June 18th. So that's leading up to 
the um, show at Sled Island, and Hundred Footers is playing with us. Who are or they're headlining, um, and they're also on the Sled Island uh, lineup. And we also are playing uh, Edmonton Public Library Showcase on July 11th um, at Snow Valley, which I guess they kind of turned Snow Valley into a music venue for the summertime since. No one's really skiing there anymore. <laughs> in the summer, no one's really skiing there in July? Hmm. Not, not exactly. Weird. For the most part. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I think we're going to try to book like quite a few shows in the fall uh, leading up to the album release. Um, maybe do like an Edmonton show as like a tour homecoming or something like that. It'd be cool to go out to Vancouver and uh, Victoria, uh, but that is to be determined. Jeremy, thank you so much for hanging out with us here on the show today. I'm, I have one more question for you um, before we go. What song do you think uh, people should hear right now to get a taste of what they are going to hear and see at your show at the Palomino downstairs on June 23rd for Sled Island 2023? Uh, you can play them I Can't Just Stop, which is a new song from... Uh, the new album, Crop Circles. Wonderful. And I just happen to have an advanced copy of that song. Thank you so much, Jeremy. This is very special. Only here on Far Out on Donor Supported CKUA. Thanks so much, Jeremy. You take care and safe travels on the road. Thanks for having me.